Uh, so how excited are you guys to uh, finally see Arc Age? <laughs> oh wait, let me si silence you. Let me silence you. Oh, I'm just kidding. You're fine. That's what he's saying. <laughs> um, you guys want to talk a little bit about uh, the cool things that you are going to show off today? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so this is going to actually kick off our. Oh gosh, it is the first of a live stream series we're going to do for Arcage, uh, and it's called Exploring Arcage, which is you know nice. Good name for it because uh, it's exactly what we'll be doing. We'll be going through the features of. Uh, just slide a chair in here. Oh yeah, go, go right ahead. Uh, let me uh, turn you back on. Uh, if you'll I notice. It, so I'm not on. Oh okay. Well, you can you can okay, turn it back now on. on. Woohoo! So I actually don't really need the headset. Uh, Victoria is joining us. She's going to help GM uh, Evan through the beautiful <laughs> lush <laughs> world of Arc. Yeah. All right, so we are we are getting an Arcage uploaded here. So we're going to talk a little bit about housing in Arcage and. Oh wait, hold on! Don't do it. Oh. I did it a little bit too early. I didn't want I don't want people to see your cool passwords. And we I, right? I always mess that up. Somehow there's always like a call. <laughs> Why did you do that? Everybody on the internet is going to try and log in as Jeez, that Cole. person now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But not today. So but yes. So we're going to talk a bit about housing. Um, we're going to show off the actual building of a house, the claiming of land, and talk a bit about the fun of how you keep it and make sure that it's still yours, and how everyone can help and participate um, and work with you to help build the house and uh, interact with it. And hellbugs are not allowed. We don't have any hellbugs no. in our cage. We no don't. Hellbugs in our cage. Mm. Darn it. Uh, I've been playing on Alpha. I'm, I think I'm like level 11 or something no, like don't that. Control the community. They can't get in yet. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna give. Are we? Is, are we gonna we give are, that away at are. the end? Okay, so we'll, we'll this is. I'm talk, I'm speaking to those two people or whoever. <laughs> so you two people who could potentially get Arcage Alpha access. Three, three people. Three people. Three people. I'm having a fantastic time in it. Um, I am a sorcerer. My chick is so cool, and. Yeah, it's it's actually a really. Ref I mean, I've played a lot of MMOs, and it's a really refreshing experience starting yeah. out in Arc Age. Absolutely. It's yeah. uh, it's a lot different from a lot of the traditional MMOs, and I've played. Uh, okay, this is going to date me a little bit, but since early days of EverQuest, um, so yeah, it is a lot. Uh, it sort of harkens back to that feeling back I had in EverQuest when the first time, and my friends who were level thirty something. And I think I was level eight. Mm. Said you have to run from Kanos to Freeport, um, and old-time MMOers will know what that run is like. It's a little bit hellacious um, through lands with a lot of things that will want to kill you. Uh, it's a bit of a run. It's sort of really adrenaline-building mm. and amazing. And having a friend who's higher level was super, super handy. I was going to say you don't look a day over level twenty-four. <laughs> Yeah, you know how old I actually am, though. <laughs> One of my favorite loading screens of all time. I mentioned it the it's last time we streamed. It's a very awesome screen. It is badass. Alrighty. Is it a bit like Star Wars Galaxies? So I'm going to answer that question while we're loading in. <laughs> um, I am was I will say was pre-NGE. I was a huge Star Wars Galaxies fan, and when I got my first look at Arcage and what Arcage is, it just brought. All of that, that community building, the you know parties in the bar where my friends were having and serving drinks and they were musicians, mm -hmm. uh, the trips out to go and kill uh, the dragons um, and the witches, that was just, it brought all of that back. And playing it on Alpha, we've got a super small community right now. and. Even with our small community, where admittedly half of them I can go over and smack in the head if, um, if they do something really stupid. Which we have done. <laughs> which I may have harassed a few of them for trying to kill me. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's, yes, if you like Star Wars Galaxies and you like fantasy game, this is going to blow your mind. If you like anything ever, your mind will be blown. <laughs> All right. I guess shall we get underway? All right. Yeah. So, what are you guys gonna? What are you guys showing off today? So today's episode is uh, this new house. 
Uh, actually, it's the name of the episode, and we'll actually be showing how housing works in Arc Age. Yes. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, Scapes has got a uh, house, a couple houses in his inventory, mm -hmm. and we're going to go ahead and place them. You want to place them on the other side of the construction site. Other side of the construction. Because that's where all of the stuff oh, it's is. Oh, you. Hi. What's your name? Fire Kate. Fire Kate. Actually, mine escapes, but my escapes was already taken by my other character, so I'm escape explorer. Yes. Um, so anyone who actually uh, is familiar with Arcage knows that that's a lot of value sitting right there. So the yeah, the house that we're going to build actually is requiring all of those resources. Each one of those packs that you see on the ground requires a hundred individual resources to make, um, a, and so there's a lot of time and effort currently sitting on the ground right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and place the house and show you guys how, you know, how you go ahead and claim land in Arc Age. So one super exciting thing about this feature that I, I want to get straight, and I, I, I mean, I hope, I, I think I'm right, is that at any point, at any point a bad guy can come up and take what is on the ground right there, right? No. Oh. So the house that he's placing <laughs> on the ground, so sort of an well, the, not quite. the the, the no, wood a question. the it's wood a piles, question. the wood piles. Oh, the wood piles, totally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that. Um, so a little bit further down, uh, once you get the house place, turn around yeah. to see the. So you see those two houses in the distance. Those are actual alpha players, um, and I was slightly concerned that they might have come by and picked up all of the piles of all the packs. Were they at? So we actually didn't put them down oh. until like half an hour ago. So those hopefully guys. they would all still be there. Yeah, those houses in the distance. In fact, uh -oh. In fact, that is one of them <laughs> now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that is one of our alpha players running around on their elk. Uh, the elk is one of the racial mounts that we have. It's pretty cool. <laughs> cool. So we've uh, started building uh, this uh, thatched roof cottage mm -hmm. over here, and... Uh, you want to go ahead and open up the, the info tab? Uh-huh, I shall. Since they can't see my screen? Nope, but what we're going to do is go open up the info tab. This is going to actually, um, let's see, confirm? No, just open it up and look at it. Oh, sorry, there we okay, are. Okay, there we go. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so a couple things I wanted to show on this tab. Uh, when you place a house, before you do anything, you can look at this tab, and you can actually see all of this information in your inventory. And it tells you about what the taxes are going to be like, um, the size of it, when the taxes are due, when it's protected. So your building site itself is only protected for a certain amount of time. So don't start building until you have all the stuff. And then... Um, if you don't build it in time, then other people can attack it. But as long as you build it in time, you're fine. Um, and then there's the construction status below that shows all of the different resources and what of the resources you'll need. Again, all of this is in, you, if you mouse over, mouse over one of the, sure. mouse over that one. There you go. You can see all of the information is also listed in your inventory. So before you even place a house, you can see it all. You want to bring up Skype so we can see the questions? Yeah, I'll bring up Skype. Yeah, we have a, we have a few folks behind Ooh. the scenes that are filtering questions for us uh, so we don't get repeats, and because chat's a little challenging to follow sometimes. Um, except it's showing on the screen, which we don't want that to happen. No, they can't see it. Oh, they can't see it? No, they're only seeing what's inside ah, the... Uh, okay, sorry, new to live stream still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so... I, but I need to see a screen camera when I look yeah. over here. Okay, so uh, you have the option at this point to demolish your house or confirm. So if you just want to go ahead and build the house, you confirm, and then if you demolish the house, that goes back into your inventory. You just can't claim. You have to reclaim the land if you want it. Uh, so go ahead and confirm. Okay. And then if you want to go ahead and pick up one of the stone packs off the ground I'm over there. I'll do that. Um, stone pack. Yes. Somebody's been pilfering packs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this Oop. is why we put the packs down late, <laughs> so people wouldn't pilfer. Um, so we're going to show you the first step uh, with Scapes' character of how to build a house, and then because it would take it 20-ish minutes, we're going to cheat it a little bit. This thing's really heavy. I'm actually slowed down by it. I saw a great question. What happens when you don't pay your taxes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so uh, you actually have a, a two-week grace period for not paying your taxes. So if you go on vacation for a week, you don't have to worry. Um, 
or you can um, you can log in from you know wherever you have a computer that can run Archage and pay your taxes. It doesn't have to run it well. But at the end of those two weeks, then people can attack your house. Um, if they attack the house, they can actually destroy it. And why are you abandoning? Oh, you got the guest bed quest. Yep. I just want to get the air off. Yeah, no. Um, and then you will lose access to that land. So the house, your house blueprint will actually get returned to you. Um, any storage boxes that you have, the storage chest, which we'll show you in a bit, mm -hmm. that you have in there um, will be returned to you. So you'll get those blueprints back on, on any purchased items. But uh, some items that you leave in the house, you will lose. Um, and then you will have the, the property. You can replace it later. Mm. So uh, actually, just uh, since we just addressed it, and I want to get the question before we forget, uh, somebody asked what the arrows were on the ground when people walk. Those are quest directions. So basically, mm -hmm. I had a quest that was um, inviting me to, I think, uh, construct a piece of furniture. And it was saying to go in this direction to go and complete that quest. So you can have, uh, I think I've seen as many as like eight uh, arrows around. Yeah. And yeah. So that's what you those are. You can have up to ten. Up to ten. Mm -hmm. So um, is it possible, I'm sorry, but, but I, it's the galaxies in me. Is it possible <laughs> for you to open your own shop and become a shopkeeper? Sort of. Um, we don't have the, the concept of vendors like there was in Star Wars Galaxies. So there's not a permanent thing in the world that you can leave stuff on. You can put out displays and um, so people can see what they want and mail you, but there's not like a, you can't do a vendor like you used to be able to do in Star Wars Galaxies. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm busy cheating here, so, <laughs> so we can see as the house builds. You'll notice as I finish each step, the house actually changes. Uh, Scapes, you've got a marriage proposal. Oh, I did. Okay. So, um, That's the second one today. <laughs> so you can sort of see as it changes how close you are to getting done. And keep in mind, um, at this point, Scapes and I have, uh, we're in a family together, which if you want to pop up the yeah, family. Thing. Uh, shift thing. Social, shift V, thank you. And then family. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually in a family together, so we've set this up to make it easier for us to go ahead and share property for, the, uh, for this and for other future live streams. And, um, but other than that, we have no relation. He's given me no permission on this property, but yet Ooh. I'm still able to go ahead and help build his very pretty farmhouse. Indeed. My very pretty farmhouse just got completed. So we can actually open her up. Yes. Now, would you care to give me permission so I can come uh, in and I do stuff? I suppose I can give you permission, yes. So to do that, I'm actually going to go see information about the construction and increase my usage, per sorry, my usage permissions to family. Confirm. And now you are free to do what you will. <laughs> Except, <laughs> with one exception, I cannot place items in his house. He has to do that. Yes, so we're gonna go do that. I can take stuff out of his yard, though, if he plants stuff. Hey. Well, it's true. So I'm actually gonna... I'm getting a lot of marriage questions. Sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I will not marry you. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. But moving right along. Already uh, married. <laughs> uh, what ha what actually happens? What are the benefits uh, uh, of getting married in AA? So there's no actual marriage per se in the game. Um, there is the families that you can designate. So you can just designate a family with just two of you, and then you'll be set. Um, there are items in the game that you can create a very uh, very cool role play wedding if you want to go ahead and role play it. But you can't, um, you can't actually marry people. Turn that around so the head is on the window. I'm doing it. Uh, so what? There we go. There we go. So what Scapes is doing here is actually placing some items. Uh, you can go ahead and rotate them. You can, um, and then place them in the game itself. So one of the cool things uh, for the Star Wars Galaxies and UO fans will appreciate, you want to turn around and look at me? Sure. Real quick, you can lie down on the beds, which is awesome. You can also sit on the chairs, and I'll show you that when he actually gets there. Um, fish there we go. Fish marriage is not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fish marriage. Is there a limit on the number of family members? I don't know. Uh, I would have to double check. I'm not completely certain. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go ahead and use the right mouse. 
so that I can go ahead and see some questions while Escapes is busy placing stuff. You have chairs and tables. It's very and important. All kinds of stuff in there. There should be some, um, oh wait, there's not yet. Hold on. I need to give you some. You can also place uh, um, yes, handcrafted items. And so I'm going to, I think, yes. This place looks like it'd be excellent for dinner parties. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can totally back it out however you want. If folks, watched the, um, if folks watched the, the live stream that we did the last time, that house that we were in was completely decorated by some of our alpha players. Um, so I'm going to answer questions. Can you start building a house and log off? What happens to the other ho your unfinished house? It stays in the world until you finish it or the timer runs out. So if you're not done, you can always log back in and, um, and change it or unfinish it. Uh, we've already talked about the arrows on the ground. Can multiple people help build a house? Absolutely. Um, each phase happens in one sort of one shot. So the first phase for the house that we built here is 10 stone. If you have 10 people with stone packs, then they can all help out at once, which is pretty cool. Um, if other folks have other packs, they have to wait until that phase when you have to apply that kind of pack. Uh, we already asked the shopkeeper question. Building houses, is it and farm free to play or premium users? One of the challenges with Arcage is that there's only so much land. And we've seen this in some other um, areas at, during betas where free players will, or a, a person will create a dozen different free accounts and plant uh, scarecrows on farms just to make sure that no one else can get that land. The property that we're on right now is actually one of the, the most cherished properties in the game. I won't tell you where it is. You'll have to find it for yourself. And um, it, if, we had the, if we let everyone put a farm down that wanted to put a farm down, no one could put houses in this area. And so the way that we're addressing that is you need to be a patron in order to place houses and farms. Uh, there are going to be, hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully, there are going to be in-game ways for you to earn patron status so you don't have to pay money. Um, but you do have to have patron status in order to place a house or farm or pay taxes. You can, however, interact with anyone else who has a farm or a house. They can set you up as family or as guild and actually give you permission to go ahead and uh, interact with their houses to pick up items, to take chickens out of their chicken coop that Scapes is putting down right now. Um, so if you have a friend or a guild, you can completely interact uh, with housing and with farming. I got a quick question, actually. Shoot. Uh, when you said this is the most sought after portion of land, or one of the most, is, is there a reason why that is besides it just being beautiful? Um, yeah, because it's, it's where it is. So there's a number of things that make land, specific pieces of land, more or less valuable. Uh, the, how close it is to one of the, uh, so they have these little communities that have all of the crafting tables, as well as a portal to Mirage Island, which if I can get Scapes to turn yeah, around. Yeah, absolutely. And so back in the distance there where Scapes' cursor is, uh, is one of the portals. That makes this part of a good place. Um, the other thing is how close it is to the ocean. So if you need to get trade packs to the other continents, it's very close. You see someone here has their boat out. Um, it's very easy to get it down to your boat and onto your boat and off. It's also near uh, one of the big cities that has some very specific local uh, trade packs that you can create to actually ship out. So it sort of has a little bit of everything. Uh, and that makes it a really popular piece of land. And so there's just going to be a mad dash, right? Like right when, when the game goes live, people are going to be running to the spots that they want to stake their claim. It's a little harder than that. Okay. Uh, the houses are actually fairly expensive. Okay. Well, so, so a new so can't a, do it. A mad dash to get the resources for a house. Yes. And then the first person to do that would theoretically have the first uh, claim to land. 
Yes, okay. it is definitely, awesome. land is a first come first serve, um, but you do also have to maintain that land. So if you place a house and then you don't pay taxes and you don't interact, you're going to lose it and somebody else gets to claim it. Nice. So it's pretty cool. Um, how to contact Scapes? You sent the email. Uh, ping him on the forums. Yeah, <laughs> it's an easy way. It's the easiest way to do it. So we actually have a lot of great questions. Uh, I know. I'm like scanning down the list, and it's just <laughs> yeah, like there, there are trillions. I can't <laughs> answer all of them. We'll do our best to tackle a lot of them, though. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's uh, see. I'm, I'm, so any references, by the way, I'm just going to put this out here, any references to items or features that are in 1.0, I am not going to answer. And the reason is because we are still evaluating and working through with Excel on which components we can put in and which components we can take out. So it, nothing is for certain yet. Uh, you can have our promise that we are doing everything possible to make sure that we keep this a sandbox game. Absolutely. We need to keep the essence of a yep. sandbox. That's what this game is. And I personally would be very, very, very sad if it didn't include, you know, if it wasn't a sandbox game. So rest assured we have that in mind, but I don't have any definite answers on anything uh, as far as 1.0 goes yet. Uh, can, you can someone destroy your house just like that? No, your house is safe as long as you pay taxes. You can destroy your house whenever you want, though. So if you decide you want to leave the game or um, you found a better piece of land that you've put a farm down on and you want to put a house on, you can pick your house up and move it. Uh, which brings an interesting point. So taxes uh, have to be paid weekly. Like I said, you've got a two-week um, a two week buffer sort of there if you need to. Mine are not paid. Yours are not paid. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got two weeks. You have two weeks before you have to before you have to pay it, or you will lose your house. Can I borrow six gold? You have like five grand. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but the thing is with the taxes is taxes will scale based on both the size of the property, and the number of um, the number of properties that you own. So. It's actually really, really, really hard to maintain anything more than one small house and a medium-sized farm. To try to get like a medium-sized house and farms or a large house and multiple farms and an aqua farm, <laughs> you're going to want That's to true. have a group of people helping, that, helping out to make sure that you can actually afford to keep all of that because it scales exponentially. It's very, very expensive as it gets bigger. Uh, so I'm, I'm seeing a lot of sort of the same question just phrased differently. Sure. Uh, are you going to be able to set up automatic payments? So like if you uh, have to go to where you don't have internet access yeah. for a long amount of time, would you be able to say, okay, I want you to pay my taxes every two weeks or whenever you're supposed to pay the taxes? So that's not currently in the game. Um, I don't know if it will ever be in the game. We would like it to be in the game. Mm. So it's certainly something that we are working towards, but I can't make any promises right now. One of the other questions that I saw being asked, uh, of course, it's a uh, very important with regards to housing. It was, um, what happens when there's no more housing space? And uh, there's, a there's actually two, question two ways to answer that question. One is, we will have multiple servers available, mm -hmm. and so there are ways to you know, go to a server where there is more housing. Um, but uh, the real answer is that, Houses can be shared. As you saw, I was you know, sharing this uh, house with uh, uh, Victoria's character. And um, the benefits of the house can be shared by everyone who has access to it. So um, really, what you'll find is big houses like, uh, I mean, the cottage here is a little more you know, modest, a little more homely. Uh, as you get larger houses, this is actually more of a medium-sized oh, house. I go ahead and finish that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah if you want to finish the, uh, this is a medium-sized house. As you can see, single floor, big I the roof. Button. Oh, there you go. Uh, and then actually we're going to finish a, uh, a townhouse here. And uh, this is what we're calling, I think, a, a luxury home, actually. So this is actually, um, I think this is a medium-sized home. This is a medium-sized, yeah, okay. Yeah, there are bigger homes. So, uh, but as you can tell, there's basically houses that are going to scale in size. And the larger the house, more than, long, more than likely you're going to need more and more people from your guild, from your family, to uh, help you actually uh, build it. As you can see, these... You should be able to come up and, and open up the info window on yeah, my house. Yeah, let's try that. So you can see... His house was six, six gold. Mine is 15 gold. 
Um, the fact that I only have one house actually makes it cheaper. If Escapes was trying to build this house as well, then it would be more than 15 gold because he has more than one uh, property. Oh, actually, you'll have two properties, three properties at that point because you also have a farm. Yeah. Actually, uh... No, you can't get into it. It's my house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, the available spaces to build houses, are those all safe zones where PvP isn't allowed? Or, yep. uh, so there are PvP zones where houses can be built? Yes. Awesome. So, um, the zones themselves are... So, you can build houses in just about every zone, uh, depending on where... Uh, where exactly you want to build. Some of the housing areas are marked on the map, some are not. So uh, we actually have some folks in Alpha that have gone around and tried to place farms to see where was housing areas and where wasn't. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> because it wasn't always marked on the map, which is very cool. Um, so. <laughs> Your house is already being visited. Um, apparently, Jareth has decided to come and visit my patio. Mm. Yes. Uh, the door's open, so you can come in now. It's true. Uh, as I notice here, I have not give uh, <laughs> Scapes or Jareth any permissions in my house. He's just creepily standing up there, He's gazing down at you. Yeah, um, <laughs> but because I have doors open, and he just flew away, uh, folks oh. can go ahead and come into the house. So if you're in a, in a PvP zone, actually, um, his gear is much better than me. I couldn't PK him if I tried. <laughs> <laughs> but you can run in and close the doors and yes. go to sleep. Yeah, so if your house is in a PvP area, uh, you're going to want to make sure that those doors are closed because anybody can walk in if you leave them open. <laughs> and plus, if they have a uh, line of sight, they can actually still attack you. If doors are open. If your doors are open. Yeah. Jump up through the window. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can open windows and doors, um, which is all very cool. There are, I see a number of underwater questions. I would like to actually hold most of those for when we're talking about underwater. Um, there are not underwater houses per se, but there are houses that you can place on the water. Let's go over here. Yeah, and we're gonna sh we're gonna actually have a whole section on underwater stuff because Arcage does not have a. Uh, it, it doesn't stop at the land. It goes under the ocean and into the ocean, and it's pretty much all over. Mm. Let's see, uh, one of the questions uh, was being asked also was the benefit of having a house uh, in addition to just owning land. I ha well, I can get, uh, I'm trying to remember how many. You can't really storage. own yes. land, man. So there's extra storage, right? You really, you rent <laughs> it. You really do rent it. It's you true. don't actually own it. Um, so you can put storage units in your house. And we have one of them. If you, did you place the chest? I did not place the chest yet. I will go do that. Um, I'm also seeing while I'm running over to uh, my house, which is over here, uh, a lot of questions about uh, the founder pack we mentioned. We'll have more details on that uh, as we get closer to making it available. Uh, but, uh, ooh, my fish multiplied because I fed them. Yes. So it happens. Yeah, it's, nature has, finds a way. Nature, nature works that out. I'm not I sure see. how one fish turns into two. <laughs> but Jeff Goldblum. We'll go with it. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum quote there. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Um, let's see. Actually, do I have the... You have a chest. I give you a chest. You did give me a chest. I'll just find it. Okay, maybe I didn't give you a chest. I'm, take, I'm taking <laughs> that <laughs> name, by the way. I give you a chest. <laughs> My character name is going to be Jeff Goldblum now. Yeah? Yep. Really? Yep. Oh, I'm in the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we've been testing houses all day. Yeah. Dude, I am so sad that I'm not going to be able to roll the dice to... To give stuff away. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. We'll have to just do it at random. It's oh, actually we are coming up on yeah, the, oh, the, the, the uh, add-on broke. The, yeah, oh, no. The, or not broke. It, it's he's not making an update there and go. said he'd be, he or she said it would be back in a couple days. Sorry, I'm, I'm going through my list of stuff. There it is. There we go. There you go. Um, so you can put two of these storage chests per house. And this is not the largest chest. There is a larger one. I'm just going to put it here in the middle. Just put it in the middle. These are crafted. Uh, there are also purchased versions. Um, and if you want to hit F, mm -hmm. you, you can go ahead and see. There's 50 slots in these boxes. Like I said, there's also a bigger one. And I honestly don't remember exactly how much that is because I could never afford to make it. Um, and you can put two of these in your house. So the house is extra storage. Um, also, if you sleep on that bed, your labor regeneration will increase. So that's another little 
uh, fun use for a house. And then we discovered earlier that there are beds that can actually be shared by two characters. Yes. And they both get the rested bonus. Uh, if it's a bed that allows for rested bonus, then they do. Cool. Should we do, I, I kind of want to do like a, uh, <laughs> ask a question, first person to give us the answer gets alpha access. Uh, if you can that keep up with the chat. Well, yeah, we'll have I, the chat log. Actually, I think Keller's got the right idea. How many folks do we have in this, uh, in this chat? Let's take a look. About 1,700. Seven, All right. So we're going to think of a number between 1 and 1,700. 5,000. OK. We'll just make it random. So pick a number between 1 and 5,000. Well, well, so we should, OK. I guess we have to wait for And the closest person will get it. Wow, all right. OK. OK. All right. I'm writing the number down so that I don't lose it. Just put it in chat. We'll have the, uh, we'll have the logs of the chat and go from there. That's a good number. Good number. I think it's a good number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have the chat logs. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoever has to look through this. That's my, yeah, that's my job later today. <laughs> oh, no, we could just search. Yeah. Right. Hey, oh, good point. Yeah. Searching. Control F it. I like with the All right, searching. Control F it. It, okay. it actually is pretty phenomenal it. if somebody got it. Yeah, well, you one chance in 5,000 of getting directly, but. The closest folks will get uh, yeah, the closest person. The problem with this <laughs> is people can just spam. I know. That's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll figure we'll it out. We'll figure it out. Somebody's going to get it. Okay. It won't be a problem. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, let's see. One thing to note, did we mention the fact that the, uh, the NPCs are over here? For uh, very briefly, but why don't we go ahead and, and head over there? Are these elementals going to cause trouble for me? Uh, maybe. What don't get too close. <laughs> don't get too close. Okay. That's good advice. Uh, this is ridiculous. It's the best we can do without the... Uh... <laughs> so one of the things to note, though, is that in this housing area, you are not too far away from NPCs either. You Correct. Have this whole... Um, and that's part of what makes it really useful. Right. So actually, did we want to show off the... Yeah, why don't we go over to Mirage Island, and we'll show you some of the different kinds really of houses. To go to Mirage Island. Yeah, he's... They're... The Daru are very insistent. Yep. That's true. Um, do we have a timer? I was like, say, let's put a timer of like another 30 seconds on that. But I don't think I have one. Wait, I have one. Another 30 it's seconds in my for phone. Another 30 seconds for that. Uh, there we go. Mirage Island. So we are going to go over. Do, 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 do. All right, my timer doesn't go down to 30 seconds. So in one minute from now, we there are closing go. the entries. The bungalows are this way, right? Uh, yes, I think so. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> oh, this is so Off funny. Off in the distance. Me. Oh, these are the uh, these are the <laughs> Harani houses. Cool. Oh right. So no, actually, it's a good end. So this folks will get to see the other. I like the, the lead side guess. That's a good guess. Now, do I want to risk glittering? Is this one good to use? Uh, do you have it equipped? Not yet. I do now. I'm actually trying to follow to just to, to see right. if somebody actually gets it on the nose. Whee! We've had a couple fairly close ones. Ah, oh, cool. So actually, as you can see, these are also other houses that can be built. Very different styling. And you can actually see some of the castles if, if you... If I go the other direction, then the there we direction. go. Uh, Ten seconds left. Oh, that's a tree. To get numbers in. <laughs> wow, <laughs> there was a really close one that I just Five, saw. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, two and one. one, and we are done. Stopping at... There we go. There, okay. Stopping it. So then the other whoa, important... Whoa, 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 Just there. type in stop. <laughs> then that way they know. Okay, we'll go with final answer, Mio. Cool. All right. So uh, the other thing to know is that there's another type of uh, house entirely, which I guess we can just tease here. Which we have uh, briefly mentioned, and that is the underwater, uh, excuse me, the shallow water houses, mm -hmm. um, the breezy bungalows. And one of the cool things about these... Uh, so every house has some land associated with it that... You guys can stop. We're not... I've <laughs> typed in stop. We're None good. of these numbers... Ooh. None of these numbers count. Yeah. I will laugh if somebody actually hit it on perfectly. Um, so as you can tell, a little bit different styling yep. on the inside here. But the real uh, reason to have these... Is that... Uh, so I mentioned every, every uh, piece of housing has land. For these particular houses, the land is underneath the house underwater. So it gives you an aqua farm, and aqua farms are a little pricey. So having a free aqua farm with your house is very handy. Is that actually the coral down there, or am I seeing things? 
That is some coral down there. Oh. We haven't planted anything no. down there, so that's just yeah. pretty underwater. Pretty underwater, got it. Cool. Well, um, let's see. Looks like we still have a lot of questions. If you guys have questions that we haven't gotten to, feel free to uh, take it to the forums. We'll definitely be uh, listening to your feedback over there. And also, if you have feedback on um, even this live stream series, we'd love to hear that as well. Uh, like I said, we're going to be going through a number of different topics uh, while we explore our cage. Uh, and uh, actually, do we know what the next week's going to be? Um, I think we have an idea. Of yeah, we're going to go through a little bit more of the world of Arcage and actually do, for folks who haven't been following the game for years and years, show off some of the wide variety of things that there is in Arcage. Uh, we've got all kinds of different terrains and houses and places. Um, we'll talk you through like the starter zones and where the higher end zones and the PvP zones are um, and some of that stuff. So you can go ahead and see some of that next time. And again, we'll answer more questions and probably do some more giveaways. Everybody wants to know what the number was. Oh, um, the number was 289. I saw one that Bingo. was that was 10, 10 digits away. Okay. I think that was the closest one. All right, we'll go through it. Make sure that uh, you know the winners get contacted. Yes. And then. Um, but yeah, we're really excited to start taking the game to uh, Alpha really, really soon. As in, like, we're actually spinning up servers right now. D and dare I say, watch out next week? I think I just got said. I don't think you can take that back. I don't think we can. All these people cheating, but hey, look, a 289 now. <laughs> it's not going to work. Hey, sorry, guys. guys. We already said no. We're right. sorry, we're done. 252's got a good chance. Cool. Don't worry. Oh, Roosty. Actually, oh, yeah, from the, the right numbers that I saw, 252 is a really good chance. The right people will get uh, their invites, no worries. Um, again, if uh, you haven't had a chance yet, definitely check out the new FAQ that we just posted yesterday, in fact. Yes. <laughs> uh, which has a lot of answers to uh, common questions that uh, players are asking on the forums. And um, yeah, just keep an eye on uh, our socials as well. We'll have a lot more details uh, going in the next week. Until then, um, I guess thanks for joining us. and. Uh, Cole, want to take us out? Yeah, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, next week we're doing Arcade, right? Uh, we, we don't know. Up in the air. We might have to negotiate the with air. the other games, but yeah. the goal is to... Yeah, uh, so we're in a weird spot with the stream. We got four games, and uh, we want to give them all their uh, appropriate amount of love. So we're, we're thinking about doing the flip-flop with games or just whoever... Whichever game has the most content to share, we'll, we'll usually throw it onto the stream. So it's kind of up in limbo. But uh, yeah, we'll be back really? next week. Yes, really. Really? <laughs> Gotta end with a dance. Yeah.